Let's talk about Emmerdale, which falls down again to ninth place in my rankings for February 2022. Emmerdale has become the new most boring soap opera. It is taking that title away from The Young and the Restless. With Emmerdale, you kind of get one of two things currently. You either get boring TV where it's kind of the the same old stuff happening or you get really dumbed down TV when it comes to Mina the villain who just won't go away Mina's going on a year now of causing terror I thought maybe this would finally be the end of her but no doesn't seem to be the case even though she is as big of a cartoon villain as they come, I just talked about in the General Hospital video, how they finally killed off their cartoon villain, maybe. But uh, Mina looks like she's going to keep on surviving. Well, we might as well just talk about the Mina story first. So Dawn's place was being broken into as it was leading up to her wedding to Billy. Billy and Dawn did, in fact, get married but uh, Mina returned to town looking to uh, get some revenge on Don for, I guess, taking Billy away from her. Who knows? Mina's motivations are so flimsy. It's part of the many reasons that make her a cartoon villain. So she basically kidnapped Don by being the limo driver to drive them away for their, their honeymoon. Held them both at gunpoint for a whole episode and... See, this is, this is the kind of villains I'm talking about where they are a cartoon. If, you, if you're a villain on any of these shows, whether it's soap opera or prime timer or, or streaming, whatever, if a villain is just always talking and talking and talking while holding a gun on people rather than killing them, you, you see that they are not a good villain, in my opinion. Because a good villain... If they're going to kill you, they would just kill you. They don't have to ramble on and on and put on this big old show that's over the top because Mina is such an over the top cartoon. So yeah, she didn't end up killing them because she kept talking while holding them at gunpoint going on and on. Which is, to me, a sign of a bad villain. Eventually, uh, she came face to face with Liam and Liam pushed her off of a bridge but of course Mina survives being pushed off of the bridge and hitting her head on a rock yes Mina survives that and instead looks like charges will be brought against her rather than her dying but we don't seem quite completely done with Mina because she's been talking to Charles Charles being a priest and Mina's saying she wants to change and she wants redemption and basically wants to find God. But we'll see what kind of trouble Mina has for Charles around the corner who has gone to the prison to visit her. I think this Mina storyline has been utterly ridiculous, bad. They've had to dumb down a lot of characters for it. Not a fan of it at all. Uh, so, so yeah, that was the dumbed down storyline for Emmerdale. And now we'll go to the other side of the stories for Emmerdale, which are the boring stories. The wool pack was auctioned off, but of course it was only bought by Charity and Ryan to somewhat kind of keep it with the dingles. I don't care. It is what it is. We'll see what comes with the wool pack, but at this point I don't care. Another story we kind of dived into was... Jay's financial wo woes kind of coming out finally. Laurel found out and found out that he took a loan out on her name. So it's basically a story about Jay's financial woes catching up to him and he's kind of like getting into drugs and basically Jay's just falling apart. It was okay, but also still, in my opinion, boring, which has been the theme or was the theme for Emmerdale in, in February. Liv got out of prison because obviously Mina ha was the killer and not not her. So she got out of jail. She reconnected with Vinny 
And uh, Liv and Vinny went and they wanted to get married so badly. They wanted to basically have a good reunion because while she was in prison, they had a falling out, of course. So they had a, a secret wedding. That was their main storyline. Didn't hate it as much as some of the other things, but it's still not like that interesting of television. That was most of the main things. For me, the only storyline that kind of at least was entertaining and it didn't really kind of ramp up until the end of February was the younger characters. I think, I don't know why some of the younger characters on these shows appeal to me, but they do. I think it's because they're fresh. Whereas, you know, most of these soap opera characters have been on the shows for at least a decade. Some of them have been on these shows for several decades that they just get old or you've seen them do all of this stuff over and over and over that it it's not as appealing anymore but when you have younger characters they are fresh and they're kind of a clean slate and you could kind of do whatever you want with them some of the soap operas do it well some of them don't but if you have good younger characters at least i will enjoy watching them because it does come off as fresh and it's not the same old characters doing what they always do especially on this show with the dingles i've talked about it several times now how i get sick of watching the dingles because it's always the dingles versus somebody and the dingles always win and it's a lot of the dingles don't really show growth so yeah i get sick of the dingles so having the younger characters on these shows do some things even though some of them are connected to the dingles <laughs> is at least slightly more interesting than some of this other boring bad television Amber Devil's putting out. But anyway, Chloe and Noah have been kind of having this relationship, or at least trying to have this relationship. Back when I started doing these rankings in the fall, I remember how um, they almost slept together, but uh, didn't quite work out. Noah was having some dick issues. <laughs> But now Chloe basically cheated on Noah with Jacob. And I do think Chloe was in the wrong here, obviously, because, you know, her and Noah have been having these feelings for each other, but then she goes and sleeps with Jacob. Noah is, of course, upset when he finds this out from her and punches Jacob. And Chloe tried to apologize to him and tried to make things up, but of course uh, Noah continued to be upset, kind of threw some things at her. We'll see where this goes. I mean, it wasn't on a whole lot for the month in general, but it kind of ramped up towards the end of the month. And it's characters that, because they are fresh and because younger characters are clean slates, I want to see where it goes. So yeah, I guess right now the younger characters, even as far as like Liv and Vinny go, they're not quite as young as these other characters, but they are younger characters on this show. Kind of the only interesting things to me, whereas the rest of the show has been super boring or super stupid when it comes to this Mina story that just won't seem to end. Emmerdale falls into ninth place in my rankings for February. Could fall more if General Hospital and Days weren't so annoying to me.